Our next public comment of this evening is Brenda Studemeyer. Brenda, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Brenda Studemeyer. I work in the water industry in Madison, Wisconsin, protecting human health and the environment. I have a degree in environmental engineering with a focus on water. In 2017, myself, my children, and others filed a federal lawsuit against the US EPA using the Toxic Substances Control Act because fluoride added to the public drinking water supply is an unreasonable risk to the developing brain. We are back in federal court June 7th of 2022. Science funded by the National Institutes of Health, published since 2017, finds fluoride at the levels purposely added to the public water supply is equally as toxic to the brain as lead. If a pregnant mother exposes their fetus to fluoride during pregnancy or through bottle feeding their baby using tap water, they can expect to see a reduction in IQ and an increase in ADHD in their children, similar to what we see with lead exposure. Protecting people from fluoride harm costs nothing. All we have to do is stop the program. You should know that fluoride in the U.S. drinking water is recognized as a water pollutant by the EPA, and fluoridation policy has been recognized as an environmental justice issue by civil rights leadership for over a decade. None of the EPA-approved lead and arsenic-laced fluoridation chemicals originating in the pollution control systems of industry have ever been safety tested. Water fluoridation began in the early 1940s when we were also singing the praises of asbestos. Fluoride began despite dentists knowing fluoride could stain and pit children's teeth with dental fluorosis. Today, 70% of U.S. children and adolescents are afflicted with dental fluorosis on at least two teeth from ingesting too much fluoride. This effect is disproportionate by race. Yet the oral health department report in December of 2021 shows that despite increases in public water fluoridation, dental visits, sealants, fluoride varnish applications, and significant financial training and program incentives, tooth decay persists, especially in minority populations who are most harmed by fluoride ingestion in ways other than stained teeth. Fluoride has adverse effects to the kidneys, thyroids, bones, and immunity. But the most appalling effect is fluoride's damage to the developing brain, backed by hundreds of animal studies and 74 human studies link fluoride to lower IQ and increased rates of learning disabilities like ADHD. We are spending over $15 billion to remove lead from drinking water because it harms the brain, while purposely adding something just as toxic to the brain. Fluoride is the most simple environmental justice problem to fix and requires no money. All we have to do is turn off the fluoride dosing pumps. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this concern. Thank you, Brenda. Our next 